So, I said there are six mental triggers that you have to activate during a sales process. It's not in this presentation. I was not planning to present it, but I'm going to give them to you anyhow. So, the number one is authority. Okay? So number one is authority. People should think that, they, you, that you have the authority to talk, otherwise they're not going to listen to you. Okay? Uh, they are not going to buy from you. Number two is anticipation. So these are the ones that are here already. Okay? Number two is anticipation. If you want to go to a coffee meeting and you want to sell, don't tell people that you're going to a coffee meeting. That's the worst mistake that people do. People want to sell, some, sell something to somebody. They pick up the phone and say, can we go for a coffee meeting? Wrong. This is not what you say, should say. What you should say is that I think that I can help you with whatever you can help them with. Would you like to discuss this over a coffee? You are still doing the coffee meeting. But now there is an anticipation that at the end of that, that, the end of that coffee meeting, there is a sales, there is an offer, okay? It's a big difference. When I had my SEO web design company, our regular conversion rate was two out of three. So from every three people we would sit, we would sell to two. One of my salespeople was not following that simple system that I told you. His sales was one out of 10. Until I sat with him and I was like, okay, call a person. He said, hey, would you like, hey, we met each other like last night in a networking event, would you like to have a coffee? I like, go, oh, okay, that's why you have one out of 10 instead of two out of three. So from 10% to 66% by just changing the sentence and doing the same work. The exact wording of that sentence again is? The exact wording of that sentence is, for example, let's say for web design. Yes. Okay? Hey, we saw each other yesterday, last night in the networking event. Okay? Let's say this is a web design business, okay? I checked your website and I believe that we can help you to have a better website. Would you like to have a coffee? Instead of, hey, we met each other last night in a networking event, would you like to have a coffee? I believe we can help you with, I believe we can help you with something. would make a huge difference, right? That's, that's because of anticipation. Now the next one is the scarcity. To any sales process, there should be an end, okay? So scarcity is the next one, is the third one, okay? The fourth one is called reciprocity. Reciprocity. Reciprocity is one of the most important triggers that we have as human beings between us. So when a person does something nice for you, you want to do something nice for them, right? In BNI, they call it giver's gain. You give first to get it back, right? So you do something good for others, and then they do something else for you. How can you, how can you uh, activate uh, reciprocity? Share value. Share value, share value, share value. Before getting to the sales process, share value with people. So they know, first of all, they know that you have authority. Second, they have the reciprocity, okay? Now the next one is community. There are two communities in the, in the business. One is a community in front of you, okay? You would walk into this room, and instead of 40 people who are in this room, there would be four. I would present exactly the same thing. Would you feel exactly the same about my presentation? No, you would feel that it's crap, okay? Why? Because there is no, no one in front of us. Right? I, I, if, if, I, if, I, if it was a good presentation, there, there should be people here. Mm -hmm. right? So there is a community in front of you, and there is a community behind you. Who is the community behind you? Your actual paying clients, and the testimonials, and the social proof of what you have. Okay? So when you are in a, process, in a process, you want to show that you have a community. That's why you share a lot of success stories of your actual clients, because the success stories of your actual clients shows the community behind you, okay? Now, the next one is conversation. That's the last one, right? I gave you six? Yep. Six is conversation. The simple, simply put, sales is not presentation. Sales is about asking the right question, okay? What does that mean? You go to a sales meeting, a person sits in front of you and says, 
For example, what do you do? You start answering wrong. You lost the sale. You lose the sale as soon as you start presenting. So what should you do? Conversation. Have a conversation. Ask the right question. So when the person asks you what do you do, for example, as a web designer, I can say, we do, web designs that, we, do, we, we do websites that increase your sales. But before I tell you what exactly we do, why don't we talk about your business? How does your business work? Okay? And it says, oh, okay. So here's what I do. Okay. How do you make money? Oh, um, I make money from here and here and here. Okay. What's your bread and butter in the business? This and that. Okay. Where do clients find you? This and that. What's the biggest problem that clients have that come to you? This and that. Oh, okay. Now when I want to talk to the person, I already know what he thinks that his clients have problem with, how they choose him, how they pay him, why they pay him, right? Now, it takes me only 10 minutes to do my presentation. If I don't know that, it will take me 60 minutes and I'm not relating to that guy. That person cannot connect with me. What's the biggest size of the contract that we have signed in one and a half hours? Can anybody guess? The biggest size of the contract that I've signed in one and a half hours? 30 grand. Huh? 30 grand? 1 million. 1 million is a lot. 50? $65,000. one one and a half hours following exactly the same system. It's called locate. Okay, I'm not going to get into that, but technically it's, it, it, it's that, 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 that's it. Asking the right questions. Ask the right questions and it leads you to an actual paying client right away. Okay, 